Hey YouTube, Jared Decker here. Sorry I've not posted for the last few months. It's been a pretty crazy time. I actually purchased a printing company and that's been keeping me busy for the last couple months. It's called Photo to Canvas at www.photo-2-canvas.com. It's a site where you upload photos and you can order canvas gallery wraps and paper prints on several different papers. And because this printing company is occupying so much of my time, it's also going to change the direction that my videos are going. I've spent a lot of time having problems and searching the internet for solutions to relatively simple problems. Um, so my idea is to get these things that I've learned along the way and share them with you and hopefully they'll help you out. So with the company I got a Canon Pro 4000 and a Canon IPF 9400. So today's video is going to be with the Canon Pro 4000. We're going to print a 36 by 24 borderless print. I recently got an order for one of my own photographs um, at 36 by 24 and the client does not want a border. I have a 36 inch roll of luster paper, so we're gonna try printing it with no borders. Uh, I haven't done this before, but it should be relatively straightforward, so uh, let's dive in. All right, so here we are in Photoshop. The first thing I do when I get an image in Photoshop, I push Option Command I, and I resize the photo to my print size. So this is at 36 by 24. The resolution is at 240 pixels per inch. Um, when I actually originally brought this image in, it's like a 22 megapixel image. So when I put it to 36 by 24, it was at about 150 resolution. So I used Resample Preserve Details 2.0 and I enlarged it to 240. Um, if it was a higher resolution image shot with a different camera, I probably would have bumped it all the way up to 300 at this size. But in my experience, doing 240 for this quality image works out great. So that's where we're at. Uh, next, just hit Command P to print. Select your printer, Canon Pro 4000. Print settings. Well, actually, let's go down here real quick. So this is the printer profile and the color handling. I always have Photoshop manage my colors and my printer profile is set to the breathing color Vibrance Luster Pro 4000, which is the ICC profile that I got from Breathing Color, the paper manufacturer, for this printer. 16-bit um, data, normal printing, perceptual. If it's artwork, I might use relative color metric, but for photos, I always use perceptual, and black point compensation. Now for a uh, an image that had a lot more black, I might turn this off and adjust it manually, but there's not that many dark colors in this image, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use black point compensation. So before we click print, you need to go into your print settings. For borderless, uh, what I did was I created a custom size for my paper. So I went in, let's see, 36 by 24, zero margins. 36 width, 24 height. I actually created this one, um, but all you do is you hit the plus sign, change the change the numbers to the description of what you're creating. 0, 0, 0, 0, 36 by 24, click OK. Now we're gonna go in here to quality and media. Just kind of make sure everything is set where you want it to be. Um, my media is Vibrance Luster, roll paper, print quality high and then go to page processing. Now once you're in here, you're gonna set your roll width to 36 inches. Normally when I'm printing with borders, this is always set to 44, and then I manually do page sizes for what I'm printing, and I don't have to change this every time. But for borderless, set it at your roll size, so 36 inches, automatic cutting, yes. Fit roll paper width is on, borderless. Normally this is set to off, so switch that to on no spaces at top or bottom. Borderless extension is basically how much the printer goes past the edge. Canon's manual for this printer specifically says that this default setting works for pretty much everything. So that's what we're going with. And from there, I think we're good. So we're gonna click save. This will show you what you've got. 36 inch by 24 inch paper. That's my image. Gonna click print and we'll see what happens. It's 
Well, there you go. That was pretty easy. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel, and I will see you next time. Thanks.